Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add and manage the images in your Nevo slider carousel. Now, the first thing you need to know is that your site may not necessarily have a Nevo slider carousel. Not all of our websites do, and some of our older ones use a slightly different version. Um, so the way to tell if this video is for you is to look underneath your carousel, that rotating image banner on your front page, and it varies in, uh, from site to site in terms of how big or small it is. But if you have numbers underneath that, that almost certainly means you're not using uh, a Nevo slider carousel. So if you see numbers underneath your carousel, this video is probably not for you because it uses our older system, which has a very different version of uh, putting things in. So feel free to stop watching now. But if you don't have numbers, that is probably an indicator that you are using the Nevo slider system. So let's find out how to add a slider. Just like everything else on your website, when you want to add content, we go to content, add content, and there should be an option called Nevo sliders. If you do not have that option, that is pretty much the nail in the coffin that your site is not using the Nevo slider system. So we're going to go ahead and click add content Nevo sliders. And I'm going to move the recording window over a little bit so we can see all of that form. Okay, there's only three fields here that you really need to concern yourself with. The first is the title, and this only shows to you as the administrator. So you will see this in lists of content and things like that, um, but the actual title doesn't show up for the public typically. So I'm doing this slider or image for um, a program called Teen slime time and my browser remembers this. Now you'll notice I've also added the word slider after it. This is just a personal habit that I have uh, for these because it makes it very easy to pick these out of a list of content um, when it's got the word slider at the end. Remember that doesn't show for the public. Now the next one is our main field here, and that is the actual image that's going to be in the Nevo slider carousel. So we're going to go ahead and choose a file, and I actually have one prepared, and I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And there we go. So once it's uploaded, um, you'll notice that it has a little uh, thumbnail there. Now you can also, if you don't, if you got the wrong one, just click remove, and it's gone. Now, a couple things about these images. First, just like everything else on your library's website, um, the system accepts basically three formats of image, either a PNG, a GIF, or a JPEG. It will not accept other format types. The other thing is, is that the actual size of that image may vary a little bit from library to library. Many of you have requested smaller carousels, some of you have bigger carousels, some of you have um, ones that are not as high as others. So when your feature was implemented, one of the things that you were told were um, the dimensions for that carousel. So it might be 1072 by 339 pixels, or it might be something else. Um, whatever that number is, Use it consistently for all of your images, because if you don't, you're going to end up with a carousel that kind of looks broken um, when it transitions, because it's going to go from one size to another, and it's going to look very unprofessional. So whatever those don't dimensions are, use them always. Now, if you're not sure what the dimensions are supposed to be, don't guess. Give me a call. Email me at laura at I will tell you exactly what your dimensions are supposed to be, but don't guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose that file again. Re-upload that. And notice too, like almost every other image function uh, in your website kit, once you have an image, it does ask you for that alternate text. Most of you will remember from your initial training when you got your website kit, that that alternate text field is very, very important. And that's because it's what is used by screen readers. So people who are um, visually impaired, um, blind, 
so forth, or they're using screen readers like JAWS or NVDA, um, this is the only thing that they get to have because they're not seeing that image. So it's really important um, that you fill that in. Also remember that once you forget these, um, even just once you forget this field on an image, your Section 508 and your WCAG compliance, and those are um, federal and worldwide standards for handicapped accessibility, those go right out the window. So you can't ever forget those. So let's go ahead, we're going to put in Teen Slime Time. And you can put in more than that, of course, but I'm just going to keep it short and sweet for now. And then there's actually the link. And this is where people will go when they click that image. So let's get the link for Teen Slime Time. Let's go uh, over to the calendar. And I happen to know that Teen Slime Time is on the 29th. Let's go ahead and click that. OK. Now I'm going to move the recording window up a little bit so that you can see the browser address bar. OK. And we're going to want to grab just the part after the base URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to go back to where we were creating our Nevo sliders. And I'm going to put that in. So now it's content slash teen dash slime dash time. Notice I got rid of everything before content, including that forward slash. If you had given this a, a custom URL, like just teen slime, and it didn't create, uh, the system didn't create the URL, you can just put in Teen Slime. So really, for those of you who are familiar with absolute and relative URLs, we're looking for the relative URL. Try to avoid using the absolute URL. And for those of you who aren't sure what the difference is, anytime you include HTTP colon slash slash yada yada yada, that's an absolute URL. And we try to avoid those. It's not good practice. So we're teaching you some better, um, <laughs> some best practices here. Okay, those are the only things really that you need for the slider. We're not going to use any of these other things here um, for the most part. And I need to move my recording window down just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna click Save. And there we go. Now. Again, I'm going to move the recording window down a little bit. There we go. OK, so when you see it here, you really you are just getting the title of it, teen, uh, teen Slime Time Slider. You're getting the image, and you're getting the link where it's going to. Notice when it shows the link, it fills in all that other stuff. That's part of the reason you only need um, what comes after that base URL slash. But we want to know what this looks like uh, on the home page, right? So we go to the home page and we'll look at our slider. And some of you have, may have a different kind of uh, configuration where you have side arrows. This is just one that we have here on this test site. Um, but you'll notice that there are only two slides. So the question is, where is our new slide? Now, some of you may not have this next part yet. Some of you may have to worry about it because it may automatically show up in your Nevo slider. But if it doesn't, that means that you have an additional step. And the reason is because it allows you to order your Nevo slider slides. So we have to go to um, Add an order to the front page. Now, some of you may have a link directly to the Nevo slider order. That's OK, but it's going to be under structure. OK? And most of you are used to ordering your front page. But here, we're going to go ahead into the Nevo slider order and click View. And you can see there are two test slides already in there. And now I need to add Teen Slime Time. Notice it's autofill. So once you start typing, it's going to try to figure out what you want. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Add the content, and now it's in our list. But don't think it's all well and good until you click Save. If you don't click Save, it's still not going to show. And notice that the, uh, this has the drag and drop handle. So I can say, OK, I want the Teen Slime Time 
to be second instead of third. I can drag and drop these into whatever order I'd like. And then still I made a change and notice every time you make some kind of change or add content you get this message at the top. Changes made in this table will not be saved until the form is submitted. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save because now I've added it to my queue. And we're going to go back to the home page. Let me move this window over just a little bit again. And there we go. Second one in. We now have three. And the second one in is Team Slime Time. And if I click it, it's going to take us directly to Team Slime Time, the event, which is what I asked it to do. So now the question comes up, right? Well, what if I want to edit or I want to change uh, or delete one of these? So what do I do? So let's move this up again. We're going to go to our content control panel. And again, I've got to shift this a little bit. Recording window only shows so much of a very wide screen. So you'll see there's our, our Teen Slime Time slider. You'll notice why now I like to put the word slider at the end because otherwise I would have two things called Teen Slime Time and it would get very confusing. Now you can look at this, the type, obviously. You'll see there the type is Nevo Slider. So now here I can uh, click Edit or Delete. And if I want to delete it, I can just go ahead and click Delete. And just like everything else on your site, once you hit Delete, uh, that second time it really is gone so you have to make sure that you really want to get rid of it before you click this. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Um, you can also edit. I'm going to click edit and we're right back where we started and I could change the title here. I could even put in a different image and different text. I could link it to a different place. Just remember just like everything else there's that save button at the bottom. So hopefully that's told you everything you need to know to get started with Nevo sliders. If you have any questions, again, uh, you can send me an email, laura at oh opland.ohio.gov. Thanks.